Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done and today I'm going to be talking about my decision to encapsulate and consume my placenta. Gonna love you, honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dove singing out a song. Yes, I am one of those people. So, eating your placenta. <laughs> Why? Why would we do that? Well, first of all, the vast majority of mammals consume their placenta immediately after giving birth. So there's obviously a biological reason behind it somewhere. When a woman gives birth, her hormone level drastically shifts and the placenta is full of nutrients. It's an organ that you grew that feeds your baby, basically. It's just full of great things that you just expelled from your body and so it's thought to reintroduce it to your body is a good thing and helpful. There aren't a ton of scientific studies out there mainly just because there's not a lot of money behind researching this because there's not like a company selling a placenta. You make it with your body. And so there's just not a lot of money behind it. So anecdotally is kind of what we have to go by and many women report um, less mental health issues, less postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. They report higher energy levels and better milk supply. And so all of those reasons wanted me to try it. I had a really, really hard time transitioning into motherhood with my son. I had both postpartum depression and anxiety that didn't get diagnosed until he was like nine months old. So I was just suffering through it. I cried basically every single day for those first nine months and I just felt like a different person and lost and it was horrible. And so this was a good option for me to try. I am on antidepressants already, so that helps protect me. But even with that being said, I know that I'm at a high risk of having an uptick in my depression or anxiety after giving birth, just given my history. So I was willing to try this. You can simply consume your placenta just like the animals after you give birth. You can just cut off some and eat it raw. I won't judge you. Some women put some in a smoothie. I chose the encapsulating route. So. I hired a woman, and if you are local in the Twin Cities, I will link her company below. She did an amazing job. And she came to the hospital like hours after I gave birth and picked up my placenta. And I said, goodbye placenta, thank you for your service. And she took it to her workplace, and what she does is she steams it, grinds it up, and puts it into capsules for me to consume. And I received 169 capsules. I was told my placenta was rather large, which was exciting. And this is what they look like, nothing too scary. So for the first two weeks, she suggested that I take two of these capsules twice daily. And so I did that. I am about three weeks postpartum now and I am taking two capsules once daily. And it's not very dramatic. It does have a bit of a, an odor or smell going down. I really thought it was gonna be worse. I mean, it is a placenta. But it is way better, in my opinion, than fish oil pills like DHA. It's nothing compared to that. And I haven't had any gross, like, after burps. I mean, I know you, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a little unpleasant going down, but then it's fine. It's the only kind of negative thing I have to say so far. These will obviously eventually run out, so I also paid for her to make me a tincture. So this is a little gross. This is a bottle of high proof alcohol, I think it's Everclear, and there are little particles of my placenta in here, and I just agitate it once a day, and in six weeks, I will filter it, all the liquid, into another bottle, 
so none of the placenta will be in it. So that will stay long term and then I can actually keep this going. I can save these little placenta bits and fill this up with like a vodka and just keep it going pretty indefinitely. I mean eventually it'll lose its nutrients but it'll last a really long time. And so this is a more long-term solution when your pills run out, if you're feeling a little down, if you're having PMS, some women even save it for when they go through menopause. And if they're having a hard day, they will just put, I think, three to five drops of this into their mouth. And so that's a really cool option as well. She also, stamped my placenta and made really cool prints of it and I'm trying to think of what to do with them. Let me know if you have any ideas below. I either want to frame them as is or digitize them and maybe change it into kind of cool colors and I don't know maybe put in the nursery or something. And then she also gave me the dried up umbilical cord back and she put it into the word love which is so cool. I am three weeks postpartum and in my three weeks so far, I have to say I feel amazing. I can't believe how good I feel after giving birth. I have energy, I am happy, I it just feels so good. I, I don't know how else to say how good I feel and it's hard to know whether it's the pills or my antidepressants or you know it could be any number of things i this experience all around has been so different i had a traumatic birth with my son the birth with this new baby was amazing i have my birth story if you are interested i'm on antidepressants so that obviously helps but i have to say i don't think my mental health has been better in years like it feels so good right now and I have a newborn and my newborn is a very fussy difficult newborn my son was actually a really easy newborn and so it's just crazy to me how good I feel with a baby that cries multiple times a day like I think she might have a little bit of colic going on so again I don't know if it's just the pills but I do think that they probably have paid some part of it. So I definitely, in these first three weeks, am super happy with my decision. I will keep you updated if I have any other opinions down the road or if I learn anything else. But I just wanted to put this out there if you are interested in what this whole placenta encapsulation thing is about and if you are thinking of doing it for your upcoming or future delivery. I think it's worth exploring at least. Leave any questions you might have in the comment box below and also if you encapsulated or consumed your placenta, I would love to hear your experience and whether or not you think it was worthwhile. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and whatever your plans are, I hope you get them done. Bye guys. Ooh.